What is up, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Jesse's Drone Adventures. Today, we are going to take a look at a pretty iconic place in Globe, Arizona. I'm talking about the Apache Drive-In Theater. Located about 90 miles east of Phoenix, Arizona, the Apache Drive-In Theater first opened its gates in 1954 and was later purchased by the Hollis family in 1965. I really hope I pronounced that correctly. If not, I apologize for butchering it. Anyways, this was a single-screen drive-in theater that had enough room for about 150 cars. Now, I don't know about you, but I really wish I was born about 20 years earlier. That way I could have lived to experience the thrill of going to a drive-in theater on a Friday or Saturday night. And I was actually pretty bummed to hear that this place closed its doors back in 2013. But just knowing that there was a drive-in theater around for that long amazes me, especially with the coming of the digital era. And on that same note, I did a little research on the web and I did find out that's actually the reason they ended up closing their doors. You see, it was going to cost about $130,000 to convert to a digital projector, and unfortunately, that just wasn't feasible. Now even though there hasn't been a film shown here in 7 years, if you're ever in the area or happen to drive by, you can still see some remnants of the drive-in, such as the big screen, which seems to be holding up nice and strong. There's also the box office building and restrooms. Now, I can't confirm this next part, but judging by the size of the building that the restrooms were attached to, I would assume that the building also accommodated other amenities, such as food, drinks, popcorn, and other tasty snacks for the showings. But I'm not 100% certain on that, and if you are, please let me know in the comments section down below. So as I was putting this video together, I took to the Googles to find any information that I could to include. And one thing I found out was, when the movie started, you could tune into a certain radio station so that way it would broadcast the audio in your car. I thought that was pretty neat. And that also leads me to the next thing I want to point out. Now, these posts in the ground that you have been seeing throughout the video, I guess they used to have speaker boxes on them, and they've been taken off since. Now right off the bat, I would assume it was probably just additional audio in case you didn't have the best stereo system in your car, or if you're like my poor cousin in Ohio, you know who you are, you know. You didn't have one at all. Now, if I'm right or wrong about this, or if they served additional purposes, definitely let me know. The more I can learn about this place, the better. Now, if you guys liked what you see here, definitely be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more abandoned buildings and ghost towns in Arizona. And hey, if you have any suggestions on places I should visit, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. And last but not least, if you've ever been to this drive-in theater and want to share some old memories, stories, or some of your favorite experiences from when this place was up and running, definitely let me know. I would love to hear them all. And well, that's about all the time we have for today. I do want to say, though, thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to check out my video. It really means a lot to me. Take care, and we'll see you next time.